Well, another week of legislative work has wrapped up in Indianapolis, and that means it is time for Nicole Christine to share some of the bills being discussed in this week's State House Wrap. Well, let's start this week's State House Wrap with an update, albeit a short one, on legislation aiming to expand I-70. Local Representative Tanya Path authored the bill, which would expand I-70 to three lanes across the state. The bill hasn't gained much traction in Indianapolis yet and still sits in the House Committee on Roads and Transportation. Budgeting is expected to be a major factor in the conversation. Back in 2021, former Senator John Ford told us every mile of construction along I-70 would cost between 15 and 17 million dollars. The bill does have a lot of support in the Vigo County community though, especially with the Terre Haute Casino Resort expecting to draw in visitors who will likely take the highway during their visit. The next bill we're highlighting this week continues a conversation between the state's environmental community and the building industry regarding Indiana's wetlands. The House bill, authored by local representative Alan Morrison, aims to change some of the classifications of wetlands and is in response to the Supreme Court's recent decision to limit federal regulation of those wetlands. By redefining what wetlands fall under certain classifications, critics fear the bill reduces protections for some of those places. The legislation is already passed through the House and has been sponsored by local Senator Greg Good as it awaits discussion in the Senate. And sex education is being discussed this legislative session. A Senate bill on human sexuality instruction creates an approval system for the materials used for said instruction. Under the bill, a school's governing body, like its school board, must approve any materials on human sexuality. Details that must be shared with that body and the public include the grade level of instruction, whether male and and female students will be together or separate for the learning and whether a male or female will be teaching the material. Materials must also be published online for parents and other stakeholders to view. The bill is currently under review in the Senate Committee on Education and Career Development. And a reminder, the Indiana legislative session going to wrap up in March.